Now, I've taken this question again from a scholarship exam of conducted by NZQA in New Zealand from 2010 exam paper. Uh, the question is, find all real values of x which satisfies the set of equation sine x is equal to root y and this equation. Okay, so, and start by finding the possible values of y. Okay, <clears throat> so what have we got? So, we've got sine of x or sine x is equal to root y. So, I'm going to square both sides. This implies <clears throat> sine squared x is equal to y. Sine squared x is equal to y. I can see cos squared x here. I know this sine squared can be written as 1 minus cos squared x is equal to y. And making cos squared the subject, I can say 1 minus y is equal to cos squared x. So in place of cos squared x, I can put 1 minus cos y. So this is, on the left-hand side is in y, the right-hand side is in x. So cos squared x can be replaced by 1 minus y. Okay, so I can say this implies from this, this can be written as 12y cubed minus 13y squared minus 14y plus 13 is equal to 1 minus y. So adding adding um, y, so let me, uh, I'm going to add y to this side, so to add y to this side. Okay, if you take away 1 from this side, it will take away 1 from this side. Okay, so this implies, you can say this is 12y cubed minus 13y squared minus 13y plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so I want to factorize this. So I'm going to group this. So this implies this is 12y cubed plus, you can use a calculator, but I want to do without a calculator. So this is 12y cubed minus 13y squared minus 13y is equal to 0. Now for scholarship exam, they want you to see whether you know the maths not how to press the keys on a calculator. So this implies, if you factor out 12, you have y cubed plus 1. And this is, if it factor out minus 13y, you have y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now there's a very neat formula of a cubed plus b cubed. Now this is a very good formula to remember. a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now this is not very much used in New Zealand, but uh, this is a very useful formula. Or if you expand this, you'll get this. So I'm going to use this formula for this, y cubed plus 1. So this is, you can imagine, you can compare your a with y and your b with 1. So this implies, I can say this is 12, 12 times, this is y plus 1, for a plus b I can write y plus 1, for a squared I can write y squared, minus ab will become minus y plus 1, minus 13y times y plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, now you can factor out the well, uh, y plus 1, if you factor out the y plus 1, you'll have y plus 1 times 12 times y squared minus y plus 1 minus 13y is equal to 0. So this is y plus 1. Expanding this out, you'll have 12y squared minus 12y plus 12 minus 13y 13y equal to 0. So now the second bracket has become a quadratic. So this is y plus 1 times 12y squared 
minus 25y uh, minus 25y plus 12 equal to 0 plus 12 equal to 0 okay so here yeah, you can use uh, different methods so I'm going to I want 12y squared so I'll start with 3y and 4y and 3y in two brackets this is one possibility so I want minus 25 here so both and also a plus 12 here so I'm going to put minus 4 here and minus 3 does it work yes can you see this is this is minus 9y hmm? this is minus 9y and this is minus 16y which does give you minus 25y so now solving this you can say this implies you've got three solution y is equal to negative one you can say y is equal to three quarters and y is equal to four thirds now what is y you want to find all the values of x y is sine squared x okay so we can say this implies sine squared x sine squared x is equal to negative one okay and this means you you have no real solution this is no real solution so sine is between plus and minus one and if you square sine of x it's always going to be uh, between 0 and 1 so this is you can't solve this so yeah this you can say this is sine squared x is 3 quarters that means sine of x sine x is uh, root 3 over 2 I'm taking only the positive root okay so minus okay uh, taking square root of both sides it is root 3 over 2 so and I'll, I'll solve this later okay so can we say sine of x is equal to sine when is root 3 over 2 that is sine pi by 3 in calculus they want to see whether you can write in because sine 60 is root 3 over 2 so this is pi by 3 so writing the general solution this means your x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n times pi by 3 because I use the formula the formula is like this if sine of x of sine x is equal to sine alpha this is called the general solution this implies x is equal to n pi plus plus minus 1 raised to n times alpha this is your formula so I use this formula so this you got this is a general solution all the values of x so n can be n is an integer here okay now is this possible so sine squared x sine squared x is 4 over 3 so sine x sine of x is 2 over root 3 so let's do 2 divided by root 3 so 2 divided by shift root 3 which is 1.15 now sine cannot be over 1 sine is always between sine of an angle is always between 1 and negative one so this is not possible not possible so this is the only solution that you have that this is uh, root three over two is when sine is pi by three and this is the only solution so all the solution is n pi plus minus one raised to n times pi by three three 